hello everyone uh, today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of n so if we have 2 to the power of n is equals to n to the power of 32 and we solve this problem for the natural values of n because here our n should must be belongs to n so uh, here in this problem we move our uh, variable terms in the right hand right hand side and we move the constant terms in the left hand side uh, uh, so i hope so you like this method uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section uh, and now here we move uh, forward and uh, we can just solve this problem for the values of n so the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this n to the right hand side for this we need to take the nth root on both of the sides and uh, when we take the nth root it will be written as 2 to the power of n and its whole power is 1 over n is equals to n to the power of 32 and its whole power is 1 over n and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here you see that these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we get here 2 to the power of n multiplied by 1 over n is equals to n to the power of 32 is multiplied by 1 over n. So you see here this n and this n are cancelled out by each other and we get here in the left hand side is 2 is equals to uh, here uh, uh, we again apply this exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write this term as a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law uh, here we move uh, this 1 over n inside the term and it will be written as n to the power of 1 over n and its whole power is 32 so further in the next step uh, here we move our variable terms in the right hand side and now we have time to uh, move the constant terms in the left hand side so for this we move this 32 in the left hand side and now we will take the 32 through on both of the sides and it will become 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and now here in the next step uh, if you focus in the right hand side you have you see here the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so that now we make this type of same conditions uh, in the left hand side uh, so for this uh, we need some working in the left hand side so that now first we can multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 2 and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 32 and it is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and here according to the above exponent law according to this uh, exponent law we again move uh, this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 2 square and its whole exponent is here this 2 is multiplied by 32 and it will be written as 1 over 2 multiplied by 32 and it is equals to n to the power of 1 over n so further in the next step we have this is 2 square and this 2 square equals to 4 and its exponent is 1 over 2 times of 32 is equals to 64 and it is equals to n to the power of 1 over n so now you see here uh, uh, until we cannot get uh, the condition in which the exponent is the reciprocal of base so that now uh, we will just uh, repeat this process again and again uh, until we will get here uh, the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so that now we again repeat the above process for this we again multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 2 and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 64 is equals to n to the power of 1 over n now here again we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 4 square and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 multiplied by 64 and this is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and now you see here this 4 square equals to 16 and its whole power is 1 over 2 times of 64 equals to 
128 and this is n to the power of 1 over n so now you see here uh, we cannot get mm, the same condition which right in the right hand side so we again repeat the above process and we again multiply the exponent of 16 by 2 and it is also divided by 2 it will be written as 2 over 2 into 128 is equals to 2 to the power of 1 over n and now here uh, we again move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as a 16 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 128 and in the left hand side we have n to the power of 1 over n and now you see here this 16 square is equals to 256 and its whole exponent is this is a 1 over 2 times of 128 it is also equals to 256 and in the right hand side we have n to the power of 1 over n and now further uh, uh, if you compare its basis then you get our n is equals to 256 and when we compare its exponents then you get 1 over n is equals to 1 over 256 so from both of these cases you get the same value of n uh, which we can write here our n is equals to 256 so this is the final answer of this question and now here in the next step we need to verify this answer uh, so that for verification of the solution uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here it is 2 to the power of n is equals to n to the power of 32 okay so that now uh, here we put this value uh, in both of the sides of this equation so we have this is 2 to the power of 256 equals to uh, again we put our n equals to 256 to the power of 32 so uh, here uh, we need to focus on the exponent of this term so that now here in order to make the same uh, same uh, sides so we need to focus on this term and here we break this 256 as it will be written as 32 multiplied by 8 we know that 32 times of 8 becomes 256 and in the right hand side we have 256 to the power of 32 here we move this 8 inside the term and it will be written as 2 to the power of 8 and its whole exponent is 32 equals to 256 to the power of 32 and here we clearly know that 2 to the power of 8 equals to 256 to the power of 32 equals to 256 to the power of 32 so this shows that the value of uh, n equals to 256 satisfies the given question statement. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.